Hey everybody, welcome back to Kratom Kingdom. I'm your host, Chris Irving, Kratom with Chris, Kratom Kingdom, etc., etc. Anyway, today I wanted to talk to you about the honest truth of how Kratom has treated me. And the good, the bad, and the ugly. Well, let's start with the good. The good is that Kratom is very good at getting rid of pain. Its analgesic factors are amazing. I don't get headaches anymore. I used to have a headache every day of my life. Chronic cluster migraines. I don't have migraines anymore. I, can, I used to not go a day without a headache. Now I have no headaches. And because of my strokes, my joints all hurt my because I'm walking on one leg and I'm walk, using one arm to lift everything. So I hurt all the time. So Kratom eliminates pain. I mean, completely eliminates pain. And another thing it does is it puts me in a good mood. It puts me in a more social mood. So I want to make videos and and reach out to people and say what a great let me grab my kratom In fact, there's hardly ever a time you'll find me without my kratom. I buy enough of it to where I can have at least seven or eight cups every single day. Because that's what it takes to get me feeling good. And not only does it make you feel good, it makes you feel euphoric. It gives you this mild euphoria. It's like all your dopamine... All your dopamine... Um, neurons are firing off dopamine which is the feel good neuron and the bad part about kratom is it's it can be very addictive you know because when you're addicted to not being in pain you run out of kratom and you're in trouble because you're going to start to feel all the pain back again in full force um Fortunately, it's not that expensive, and it's easy to get, and it's legal. It's totally legal, for now, anyway. If marijuana is becoming more and more legal, then kratom should be more and more legal. In fact, my manager of the apartment building that I'm living in, she came and did a surprise inspection in my apartment, and she saw all my kratom on my counter, and she's like, is that kratom? And I'm like... Yeah, how, how did you know that? And she said, because my husband uses Kratom. And I'm like, so it's it's not against the rules here to have Kratom. It's not like a drug. And she said, no, you can buy it at the corner store. Of course it's not a drug. And I wouldn't get you in trouble for it anyway because it's it helps my husband, so it must help you too. I was like, it's just as much of a part of my therapy as going to my therapist. It, I don't need pain pills anymore, which I was on a chronic supply of pain pills. And those, as you know, are very addictive. So it's... It's... It's, to me, I don't see the negative in it. It's legal and it feels good. But yesterday I ran out of citric acid. I didn't have any crystal light to add to my tea. And it, I might as well have been drinking green tea because it didn't have the same effect. You need the, the citric acid. You need it. To, so it binds to your brain. Without the citric acid, you're, there's no way for the alkaloids in the tea 
to bind to the dopamine receptors in your brain so it just hangs out and doesn't do much and I've taken I've taken tons and tons of grams of this stuff I mean I have if you could OD on it I would have OD'd on it so there's no OD It does make you a little bit lazy. See, I'm growing out this beard because I don't feel like shaving. And why should I? I'm a man. Men can have beards. But my beard is all gray, which makes me look my age. Which, I mean, I guess none of you would ever guess that I was 82 years old. <laughs> uh, no, not 82. I'm 52. And I'm still living strong because of Kratom. So, really I can't think of too many negative things about Kratom. Except for it can be a little expensive to some people. I'm fortunate in that I can afford it, so I do. And it's the top of my list of things to buy. I was just running numbers through my head to see if I can afford it next month because it's $296 for three grams of it, which is about three pounds of it. And I enjoy... It, it's part of my day. It, it gives me something to do. Instead of sitting around all day watching TV, I sit around watching YouTube, drinking Kratom. And it's very good. So if you have anything negative to say about Kratom, I'd like to hear about it in the comments. Maybe we can start a little debate because I am having a hard time finding anything negative about Kratom. <clears throat> Except that it's still illegal in Alabama and Wisconsin, which is, just blows my mind. Why Alabama and Wisconsin? I mean... All right, y'all, so I hope you have an amazing week, rest of your week, and a weekend coming up. I will see you all tomorrow.